Okay, y'all, uh, just uh, hear me out. Okay, y'all, I'ma make a long story short. Made a goofy mistake, all right? It was a combination of rushing, you know what I'm saying? Not finding the right tool, and just probably not the best work environment, necessarily, all, you know, combined into one, and... So yeah, I got a tool stuck in my, uh, in my engine compartment, and that's really why I have not been wanting to, uh, to even look at my C10 for the past couple weeks. But, I mean, either way, it's a problem that has to be addressed, so... So, so I'm gonna have probably a little bit of attitude for this whole video, so y'all just have to excuse me. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't feel like doing this all the time. Like, I don't know why people seem to think that, like, I just got, like, unwavering uh, uh, motivation. But that's not the case all the time, bro. Like, I really don't feel like doing this most of the time, bro. I don't, so... But either way... We gonna push through it. We gonna get it done. And then we gonna laugh about it later on. Whew. So, after chopping it up with family, I think I have a plan and I know it's gonna work. Um, I'm taking the plugs out and then I'm going to take a screwdriver and turn the flex blade by hand like tooth by tooth you know and sort of use the uh like transmission as leverage you know with a screwdriver and i should be able should be able to turn it enough just to get the tool out and the bolt out so yeah it's not as bad as it seems now that i have a solution for it when i didn't have a solution for it oh i was mad <laughs> I was definitely upset, bro. I think I think the, this is. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. Pretty sure this is gonna work. Um, and I might even be able to find out if my. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna save that for next video. I think right now I'm just gonna be fixing my mistake, y'all, and uh, putting myself on blast right quick. You know what I'm saying on YouTube, and show y'all. Uh, you know what I'm saying my. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My screw-ups and my shortcomings. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm perfect all the time, like type, you know, type of YouTuber. So you know what? I'm gonna post this just so y'all see. I'm human too. You know, I make goofy mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I get mad for no reason sometimes. But we do the best we can, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna I feel like I don't really need to show me taking the plugs out, but I'll definitely show y'all turning the uh flex plate to get everything out of there so yeah all right y'all so spark plugs are out they don't look anywhere near as bad as I thought they would you know um, but um, my motivation is kind of coming back so that's good news for everything and everyone my motivation is coming back on this whole situation but it's just it makes you so mad when you thought something was going to take 30 minutes and then it ends up taking way longer than that you know so it's just it's hard for me to get past that but i think uh in order to compensate for that i'm going to be trying to i'm going to try with all my might to get three videos out to y'all so uh make sure y'all stay tuned i think uh i think i can muster up three videos out of this week if i can just stick to the plan if i can just stick to the plan then i should be I should be good and like I said I want to get three out because I think that's how many I'm missing from the past three weeks so just stay tuned you'll see what I do uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and you'll see there for sure I'll update y'all on that but now it's time to go ahead and get under here and try to get this tool and bolt out and then on next episode I'm actually going to be trying to see if my flex plate is cracked so as you guys already know, when I put it in gear, it makes that little clang a -lang sound. So, I'm trying to see if I take everything apart, 
and it's still making that cling a ling and sound, then it's probably my flex plate. But in the same breath, if it's not making that sound anymore, it might be because the flex plate has no load on it anymore. So it, either way, I gotta see for myself and I just gotta kinda do some fishing and do some digging to really finalize if the flex plate is cracked or not. But either way it goes, we'll be doing that in the next video. So stay tuned. guys I think this one's pretty much over I mean I had to find I had to sort of like hammer the torque converter sideways in order to get the engine to spin because I just couldn't find like and it probably wasn't the best idea it probably wasn't the best way to go about it you know what I'm saying so I'm not this is by no means a how-to or anything that you should do you know a little disclaimer but I couldn't get any leverage on the flex plate itself so I had to sort of sideways hammer at the torque converter in order to get it to spin just enough to where I could get the uh, you know the tool out crude but it worked you know so we can kind of roll on with you know with more diagnosis of the flex plate and uh, yeah yeah, I uh I'm I'm hoping honestly in a perfect world the next video I turn over the uh I turn over the engine with nothing on it with no torque converter attached to it and it still makes that noise. That's a perfect world because then we know what we're dealing with. But mm, still in the same breath it's kind of weird because if the opposite happens and we take it all apart and we don't hear the sound anymore you know, it could just be that the engine isn't under any load, so there's no point, there will be no way for the torque converter, for the flex plate to make the noise anymore because it's not under any load. But, like I said, if we turn it over and I rev it and that like puts some flex in the flex plate and it makes a little screeching noise because of it, then we know it's cracked then we know it's cracked. So that's really the result that we want. But anyway, just like that, y'all, I think this one's pretty much over. I really appreciate you guys watching. We're back in business. Stay tuned. Uh, I should be posting another video in the next couple minutes, really, because like I said, I want to post uh, a couple videos for y'all. So the next video should be going up at 4 o'clock, so make sure you stay tuned. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one, and have a good one.